Hey guys, how's it going? Swears is here. Hope everyone is well. Um, I'm literally doing a quick video on Rivian again. Um, do you ever get that feeling that you're banging your head against a wall and you're trying to you're trying to shout out and help people and you ever get you get the distinct feeling that maybe people aren't listening? I don't know. It's difficult. It's difficult standing out on social media. It really, especially when you're trying to crack a new market. You know, like America, for example. <laughs> <laughs> all right this is my disclaimer no investment advice at all please read the disclaimer in your own time i'll put links to everything in the description box of the video uh, it's the 25th of september uh 2024 the markets are closed for the FTSE cryptocurrency markets are live and i think the american markets are still live but i'm i'm in uh, i'm in england i'm in the northwest of the united kingdom in england in a county called lancashire lancashire it's actually Lancashire, and um, I'm starting to uh, I'm starting to um, take an active interest in American stocks. And I'm really enjoying it, and uh, basically, I've had Swayze's charts for like you know four and a bit years, four and a half years now. And I've I am a prolific chartist. I have my own system of technical analysis, but they've been developing for many years, which is called retroactive backtesting with forward channel projection methodology. That is my system of technical analysis. I'm a core developer of our unique Trifusion AI with my pal, Bob Smith, beta testing 8.0. And we're getting some phenomenal results with our AI market tool. Dropped a podcast last night on some movers and shakers in the American market. It's going pretty well. And uh, it's going extremely well. And I've made some pretty decent calls since I started drawing my chart ideas past two, two and a bit months now, specifically for the American tickers. But of course, I've been charting FTSE stuff for years. I have done American stocks before. I've made some phenomenal, uh, phenomenal calls, successful calls, Fubo TV is one of my phenomenal calls, Tesla. And we're going to talk about Rivian, right? We're going to talk about Rivian because I think we need to talk about Rivian while the market's still live, right? There is a lot of information and there's a lot of people um, like looking at Rivian right now, like why is it selling off, et cetera, et cetera. What's going on? It's dumping. Look, this is what I'm going to say, right? Um, and I'm just going to be, I'm going to be honest, right? This is my opinion. This is my subjective opinion, right? But I like to think that I've got a, a valid opinion. I've proven myself for many years in calling winners up and down the markets. And I've got a track record. It's not just a random opinion. This is a, what's the word I'm looking for? This is an opinion that uh, I have worked very, very hard for over the years. And it's a proven opinion. It's a considered opinion, right? And besides that, Let's just look at what I've been doing with Rivian recently uh, since I took an interest in it. Let's just let's just look at the evidence, right? I made my first podcast on Rivian. Uh, Rivian is at a critical level and you need to know about it. That This is my YouTube channel. It's a relatively small channel. I've got many more followers on X. But at the end of the day, don't necessarily go, oh, Swayze has only got a, a low sub count. Doesn't matter, the information's bang on. That's all I'm gonna say, right? It's hard to grow sometimes in a niche market. This is why I'm jumping uh, into the United States of America and uh, I'm starting to take an active interest in the moves and the shakers and the NASDAQ and, and, the, and the New York Stock Exchange. So my first video, anyway. Anyway, back to Rivian. I dropped uh, my first podcast, detailed podcast, guys, and I dropped it. I dropped it. Uh, let's have a quick look. Where's the date? Where is the date? When was the date? When did I drop that? Let's have a quick look. I'm just looking for uh, for the date. I think I dropped my first one. In fact, let's just have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, a month ago. I do apologize. I dropped, the, I dropped my first podcast on Rivian a month ago. And I did a deep dive, right? A, a literal deep dive. I'm going to put links to all these videos in the description box of the video. 
I did a, I did a deep dive on Rivian, the Rivian chart, thoughts, uh, thoughts and prayers, macro downtrend, rejection levels. Okay, you can see, uh, you can see uh, the chapters, right? The chapters are all labeled with specific areas that this deep dive video, it was 30 minutes long, guys, for crying out loud. I, I addressed the long squeeze, gap levels, okay, trap candles, okay, the hopes for the future, okay, head and shoulders reversal pattern, right, in finite detail, caref uh, careful at resistance levels, right, binary play, asymmetrical descending triangle, okay, trifusion AI report, right, and then, and then I went into details with our artificial intelligence generated, Unique GPT neural net. And let's just jump to that, right? Our Trifusion AI report on Rivian, which we generated, me and Bob with our AI generated this August the 26, 24. And what it is, guys, it's fundamentals, technicals, and intricate financials. This has all been available for free download in the links of the videos and on X. And I've been shouting from the rooftops warning folks that Rivian has not finished selling off and I've been doing it now for like four or five weeks. I first sussed out what was going on with Rivian when it was being ramped by a very, very large spread back organization in the United Kingdom. And I won't mention who they are. Uh, a couple of the, the, the uh, journalists follow me, follow my, follow, been following my charts. And they were ramping it and I charted it and I thought, why are they ramping it? Charted it, I found I got my answer. They were ramping it at resistance, a spread by organization. And they openly admit that 70% of their punters lose. I'm sure there's no conspiracy there, right? Look, guys, right? There's a lot of debt with this company, with Rivian, right? There's pros and cons, but there is debt. And in that first video that I just jumped into, I did a full presentation of this particular uh, PDF document that is unique to what me and Bob have done with our Trifusion AI. And it's got intricate financials, guys, that you would only usually get with high-end, with high-end uh, wealth management companies and high-end accountancy. Genuinely, there's about $2,000 worth of invoice, uh, invoice uh, amounts. If you were to invoice um, uh, various companies, there's two uh, minimum, bare minimum, 2,000 quid. Me and Bob are letting this go for free of charge to the market because we are building, we are building, we want to build value with what we can do. It's got cash burn analysis, there's the EBITDA levels, PE ratios, liquidity ratios. Uh, there's all sorts of strategies. It's copyright, Trifusion AI 2024. So this report will be, Still up there with all the tweets. I've done multiple tweets, guys, on what's going on with Rivian, Rivian and where I think it's going. I also, shout out to my Substack, which is relatively new. I also dropped a uh, journalistic piece on Substack, August 28th. Will Rivian Automotive Incorporated share price climb or fall? Again, uh, content with, uh, with, with objective right financial fundamental and technical information objective mostly and then predicated on my unique system of technical analysis but we also look at a hundred other systems of ta literally a hundred hundred systems so then we published this report which i think is very very balanced indeed and uh yeah it's like a four or five minute read on substack shout out to bob my economics genius pal, and then uh, so we did that, and then and then after the first podcast from a month or so ago, then I did a follow up podca podcast, right? So I did a follow up podcast, and I did that four weeks ago, four weeks ago, and it was titled "Will Rivian's Will Rivian Break Out to the Up or Crash Back Down?" Detailed uh, detailed market report, and in this video. I did, let's have a quick look, Rivian chart again. We did the Rivian chart. Trifusion AI report, page one, page two, page three, page four, page five. So I went over the report again in full depth. And then I did uh, disclaimers and, and uh, the chart and then an overview and a wrap up at the end. So we did that. 
Then very recently, very recently, uh, let's have a quick look. I did, here we go, recently, three days ago, I did another podcast, which is, this one's 16 minutes long. How long was the other one? Let's have a look. That was 18 minutes long. This one's 16 minutes long. And I had a detailed analysis going over the charts again and the critical levels of support and resistance that you guys need to know about. Whew. So, you know, it's not like, as we say in the UK, I'm not trying to talk around my hat band, right? I believe that I've got good information. Here we go, Rivian. There you go. So where, where, where are we at? Down 6.9, down nearly 7% currently. Markets are open for a little bit longer. There's not long left in the markets. It's uh, 40, nearly 45 million in volume. Price is currently $11 and uh, zero. Yeah, just like $11.01 a share. It's currently down again. I've been calling this, this, this these resistance levels and this particular sell-off for quite a while. This is the chart idea, guys. We're in a macro downtrend. It's been in this macro downtrend for quite a while now, for a couple of years. There's a larger asymmetrical descending downtrend. Every time price has been testing this uh, resistance level for the past couple of years, it's not liked it and it's rejected it. There's an active head and shoulders reversal pattern in play. I drew it out weeks ago, guys, weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Lower market structure has been exposed by myself, has been exposed. The market makers are utilizing the lower market structure. Price cannot get over critical EMAs, critical resistance levels. I have drawn a, a breakout idea weeks and weeks and weeks ago on this quaint purple uh, channel. There's a potential ascending channel idea, okay? In in the first instance, right? In the first instance, I think price is going to want to retest just under $10 a share. I think it will. I think it will, looking at the way the market is moving. This is the daily chart. I've been going over this now for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Even in my own Discord, this is Swayze's Charts private Discord, okay? Shout out to members and students of Swayze's Charts. I have the 29 results for Rivian. We've put all the Trifusion AI reports. I've published all my ideas, all my charts, all my tweets, all my videos in my own unique uh, Swayze's Charts Discord. <sighs> Try not to get emotional here, guys, right? Look, for anyone, right, for anyone, if you don't understand technical, and I'm not trying to, I'm, uh, by the way, I'm not, I'm not trying to punt for students or anything like that. I'm not taking, I'm not even taking new students on for quite a while because I'm too busy developing, I'm too busy developing uh, Trifusion AI and, um, and other things right now to even think about new students. I'm not trying to punt for a membership or a Telegram group or anything like that. I don't even have a Telegram group anymore. I used to have, I deleted it. So that's not the agenda here. The agenda is look, look, I've been, I've, I've been. I've been preaching about what could happen with Rivian for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and literally months now. And, and it's literally happening on a daily basis. What's good. I think what, this is the issue we've got, right? Oh, by the way, I did a, I did a, a podcast last night. I'll put the link in the description. I covered 13 tickers, multiple winners there that I've uh, been calling out. Fubo is a winner. Uh, I charted Sophie and Hims. We've done Trifusion AI reports for him. CCL, that was a big winner. Peloton, big winner. TPR is a winner. Zoom, huge winner. Eats was a winner. Oracle was a winner. Uh, so yeah, there's multiple uh, there's multiple winners there that I've been dropping. I'm, I'm really excited about getting involved uh, in, in the United States uh, uh, stock market. I love it. I absolutely love it. I really do. There's my ideas on Fubo. TPR, we're up like six dollars a share on TPR since I called it like not not even long ago from like nineteenth um, of August last month. Amazing CCL, mega winner with CCL. Trifusion AI uh, came up with a list of these stocks, and uh, we've got a secret source recipe on screening stocks. And shout out to all the new people that are following from 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 the states. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate the support. Please, you know, give us a follow, a like, a retweet. I'm just an English dude that's trying to make it big in America. <laughs> right. Oh, Rivian. I just passed it. Hey, guys, look, Rivian.
uh, podcast charts. I mean, come on, guys, right? Been calling it for ages. Been literally calling it for ages. This is this is one of the. Uh, this is yeah. There's there's the uh, is that which which video is that? Oh, that is that the first one, twenty fifth, and charts and chart ideas, and and it's coming to fruition. You know, I specialize in trend reversals. Uh, with my unique system of TA, I have a phenomenal track record in getting the moves right. Okay, don't always we don't always get it right. We don't always get it right. But listen, you don't need to always get it right to be a winner. You know, uh, you need a good track record. And I, I believe that I've got the authority to talk about stuff like this. Well, obviously I have because, you know, my track record and also in calling this particular mover, it's been squeezed. Okay, they're trying to take out whatever agenda the market makers are doing. They're trying to take out market orders, stop losses. They're trying to take out, they're trying to, they're, they're trying to squeeze longs, right? Calls, puts, whatever they're doing, right? The market makers are in control. That's how it works. I believe that the market's going to seek this support level. Now, hopefully, hopefully, support will come in, sub just literally sub $10 a share. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, once price, I think price may seek that level. Hypothetically, if it does, then we need to see whether or not we get support because this, I believe, is an idea of, it's not the super macro, it's a macro ascending bullish channel idea. It's a structure that the market may use, may use to break out of this pesky two-year downtrend that we can look, that I've drawn as, as to my system of technical analysis, guys, right? We need it to break out. It's been running this cycle for a couple of years now. Uh, it looks like the market wants to test sub ten dollars. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, and jump jumping back to my recent video, is six dollars a share Rivian's next major stop? I mean, listen, guys, do not be surprised if it is. Remember, right? The market can stay insane longer than you can stay solvent. This is how this game works, right? You see, the thing is, right, many people will try and apply human logic, right, to try and reason with the charts. But sometimes, guys, logic and, and, and sanity, right, are kicked out of the window. And chaos and disorder and lunacy seem to reign supreme. It's the way it goes. Why? Because they can outlast anybody in the, we don't know what the plans are a lot of the time. And markets don't move rationally many, many times, right? So I, I always say this, right? I honestly believe the real news is, is the, are the charts. I believe technical analysis is the real news. And I think, uh, I mean, I've proven it so many times over the years, you know what I'm saying? With my predictions and my calls, I've been, I've been like blown away by the accuracy of how the markets move according to, according to the charts. And a lot of the times, guys, the quote-unquote news drops after the charts. I mean, I've literally called moves, right? And then you get the RNS. I don't know. What do you guys call them in the States? Do you call them RNS? The regulatory news uh, bulletin things that come from, uh, you know, the official uh, exchanges. Well, I don't know. What do you guys call them? Sorry, I'm so, I'm so uh, misinformed and ill-informed with American markets. I do apologize. I'm just a, I'm just an English guy trying to make it in America, guys. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Shout out to my su sub stack. That's going pretty well. Um, but yeah, uh, what what was I saying? So let's just jump. Are, are we closed yet? Have we closed? Are we still? Oh, so yeah, it's post-market, right? So is that the close? Is that it? Let's have a quick look. So where are we at? Uh, minus 6.84% down. I, I think price I think price this week is going to want to test just under $10 a share. Uh, this is my idea of how uh, the market could turn around for, uh, for Rivian and try and break out. In, it's a short-term bullish ascension channel idea, right? That's pretty much it, guys. Like, I've been calling it. I've been. I've got detailed analysis. We've got all the intricate fundamentals and the financials and the technicals. I'm just doing another quick video. I'm going to get this uploaded. It's a little late in the day, but you know what? It is what it is. Please give us a like, a follow, a share, a retweet. Really do appreciate it. I'm trying to make it in America, as I've said like multiple times, and I'll put links to some of my other videos in the description box of the video. I am pro Rivian. I really am. I am not against this company. I am not shortening it. I don't have any leverage positions on it. I don't have any puts or calls on it. 
I am not trying to move the market. I'm, I'm, I'm simply trying to report from the front line and, and say, look, guys, you know, these are, there are critical levels on the charts that you need to be, be aware of. OK, it is being moved specifically in a calculated way at the moment. So good luck to everybody. All right. And uh, I'm going to get this uploaded and I will chat to all you wonderful people soon. Enjoy your evening. Thank you.